an end pin, or what some people call a strap button, at the bottom of your ukulele allows you to wear a strap while you're playing the instrument. This is great to have, especially if you're a beginner, because then you don't have to worry about the instrument moving around or holding it up while you're playing and practicing. Installing an end pin or a strap button won't affect the sound quality of your instrument at all. That's because on ukuleles, there's a little block of wood inside the bottom right here, just so if you drill into it to install an end pin, uh, it doesn't damage the instrument at all. If you feel too nervous to do it yourself, you can always take it to a shop and have them do it, but I'll show you how easy it is to do yourself. There also are some other types of straps that you don't need an end pin for, but they're not quite as secure. In the description below, you can find a link to a video that shows you how to make a strap just with ribbons that doesn't require you to drill into the instrument at all. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I recommend you do is find a nice flat surface and lay down a blanket or something soft so that it's a nice, comfortable surface for your sweet ukulele. Then you want to take some painter's tape. You could also use masking tape as well. And just take a piece of it. And you're going to place it on the bottom of the instrument where you're going to drill into. Now, we want to drill the hole in exactly the center of the bottom of the instrument, okay? And usually there's actually a line in the wood where uh, the two pieces were uh, fused together. And you can see it right here, uh, and that, that's actually great because um, it gives you an idea of where the middle is. If you don't have a center line, you could also try measuring the bottom of it, or you could just eyeball it as well. Um, you could measure from sort of between the two middle strings right here and just measure down the center and sort of follow a line. But this one does, it has a little line right there. It's very faint, you probably can't see it on the camera, but I can see it. And what I will do is I will put the tape um, not all the way to the edge of the instrument, but just a little bit, uh, like I'll leave a little bit of space there so I can see where exactly that line was, okay? And I want the line to go through the middle of this piece of tape, okay? And then I'm gonna put the tape down, just like that, and that way, as I said, I know exactly where that center line is, okay? Once I put my piece of tape down, I'm actually going to sort of look at where that line started and then I'm gonna to try to draw the rest of the line across the instrument, okay? Just sort of like as a guess, like where I think it would go. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, that looks about right to me and I can even check it. Yep, perfect. So now I know this is the center of the ukulele and then I'm just going to eyeball it to find the center this way, okay? You could take a ruler and measure and find the exact center spot, and then I'm just gonna draw a circle where that would be, so then I can kind of just look at it and make sure that it looks exactly in the center. Let's see if it does. Yeah, that looks pretty centered to me. I just used a darker pen to draw my line and dot so that you guys can see it a little better, and I also used a ruler just to confirm that I really was putting that dot in the exact center, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my drill, and I'm going to look for the smallest drill bit I have, okay? I'm gonna start with the very smallest one, okay? Let's go. Now, if you order your end pin online, uh, and I'll put a link to an end pin that you can order if you want one for your ukulele in the description below. Um, an end pin usually comes with three parts. There's like a little washer, a screw, and then uh, the actual end pin, okay? And when I drill into the instrument, I wanna make sure that I don't go deeper than the length of this screw, okay? And I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna eyeball it and say, yeah, I don't wanna go any deeper than that. Now, this is very important. When you drill into the instrument, you wanna make sure that you're going in straight. You don't wanna be going at an angle, like up or down or to the side. You want it to be as straight uh, as possible. So I really wanna go kinda like level to the table, or if that makes sense. And let's go. drill bit out and I'm going to work my way up increasing the size of the drill bits I'm gonna slowly increase the hole uh, until I get to the drill bit that's about the same width as the screw that I need to put into the instrument okay and you want the final drill bit you use to be a little bit smaller than the screw but if it's around the same size as the screw that's okay so if you see here I started with this really small one then I'm gonna move up to this one next and then this one right here looks like it's about the right width if I show you compared to the screw Right, they're about the same width. The screw is just a little bit bigger, which is perfect. So I'm gonna work my way up to this one, and this will be the final one I use. 
So now I'm going to do this second smallest size. And we're just going to drill in the hole again. And now I'm going to use this third size. Now I'm going to take the tape off and we'll look at the hole. Very nice. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a little end pin and you're going to put the screw through it, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to put the washer through it on the bottom as well. So the washer, when this goes into the ukulele, the washer is going to be against the actual wood of the ukulele, okay? kind of protects it and keeps it from scratching that ukulele too badly, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to take this little screw with the end pin and washer on it and I'm going to screw it in to the hole that we drilled, okay? And uh, it's nice to use a screwdriver because then you can go in really nicely and gently. Um, I'm not going to lie, I have used a drill, like with a normal uh, little screwdriver end on it, to drill in the screw many, many times because uh, it's fast and easy. Um, I probably will get people complaining and saying don't ever do that, but if you have a really gentle screwdriver and you can just kind of go like this, see how gently I'm going? I'm not going, right? I'm just going. Then it's okay. Um, but if you want to play it safe, you could just use a screwdriver. Now if you notice that um, it feels like it's just too tight and you're having a hard time screwing that screw into the hole, maybe you need to make the hole a little bit wider so you would just move up one more drill bit size just to make the hole a little bit wider. Another thing, um, if you are drilling into the hole and you get the screw almost all the way in but you just can't get it that little last bit of the way, um, you can always try unscrewing it and taking the screw out and then putting a little bit of beeswax or something like that on the end of the screw and then trying to screw it back in. Sometimes that sort of uh, softens the wood and lubes it up a little bit. So now let's do it. And there you have it. Now you have an end pin on the bottom of your ukulele. And you can put a strap on it and uh, enjoy playing. Sometimes people also install an end pin right here on like sort of the heel of the neck of the ukulele and then you can put the strap there and then there because uh, usually straps, the strap needs two points of connection, right? Um, so if you have an end pin here, you can attach one hole there and then the other one on the bottom. But you don't need to have um, an end pin there. You can always just tie the other end of the strap around the neck. Let me show you one that's already tied up like that, okay? Here's a ukulele. As you can see, it has just one end pin there where I have the strap attached to it right there. And then um, here's the hole on the strap where it would normally uh, go on the other end pin, but since I don't have a second end pin, I just have a piece of string tied around there and then I tied the string like just sort of underneath the strings above the fretboard like that. And I tied it around, tied a little bow in it, and that's it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post one video a week and I would love to have you here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you next week.